From the sky, the damage was clear. You can see that water forced right through here. Look at this. Oh my God. Wow. The only bridge to Boca Grande was closed, blocking access to the barrier island after it was hit with a five foot storm surge. Lee County Sheriff Carmine Marcino. And I've heard reports today uh, coming back that Boca Grande got hit very hard with Hurricane Milk. Homes surrounded by brown water, cars swept away, businesses caked in sand. I mean, this is evidence of just how powerful of a storm surge we are talking about. Check out this road. It's washed out that building barely hanging on by a thread. And over here, you'll notice that part of the asphalt here has literally buckled under the pressure of all that water. These sandbags weren't enough to protect this shop. The, the water four or five feet up. Nearly everyone on this island evacuated and Sheriff Marcino thinks that saved their lives. It looks like a, a nor'easter storm from like up north, but it's sand. I've never seen it or would imagine it would look like this. Businesses closed, waters busted through the windows, trash and debris, boats, furniture. I mean, this just shows you it's pure devastation. If you took a picture, they say a picture's worth a thousand words. This leaves me at a loss of words. Now, those who live on islands like Fort Myers Beach and Sanibel are just now being let back on to check on their homes. But others like Boca Grande and Captiva, well, they're still cut off. Officials say they still need more time to make sure those bridges are safe to drive on. Nora? Nicole, you captured that story so well. Thank you very much for that exclusive.